What's going on, y'all? It's TKJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all for stopping by, man. The Washington Wizards have finally done it. They traded Bradley Beal, and they sent him to the Phoenix Suns for Chris Paul, Landry Shamit, a handful of second-round picks, and multiple first-round pick swaps. I'm literally recording this like five minutes after the news broke, so I don't know all the details just yet, but this is such a big trade, man, that I didn't want to waste any time. I'm here to do a realistic rebuild of the Phoenix Suns for like the third time in the past few months. They keep making big trades, bro. I did one after they brought in Kevin Durant. I did one after they lost in the second round to the Denver Nuggets, and now here I am doing another one. One. it is what it is man the goal here is to win a championship within the first three seasons if i can't do it during that time then the video won't end until eventually i do make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't man we're on the road to 2k and we're almost there so if you guys can help me out with that i'd really appreciate it but anyways man without any further ado it's time to get into this video let's get it so normally i would show you guys a look at the whole rotation and stuff like that but obviously it's going to change after we make this trade and i actually can't do that trade until we hit the off season so we're going to skip all of this man i'll do a quick roster recap before the start of the season but let's keep it moving to the off season man where we're going to pull off this trade all right man so taking a look at the trade it's going to be chris paul landry shaman and four second round picks to the washington wizards for bradley beal now like i said we don't know how many second round picks is going to be just yet but honestly when it comes to this video man it doesn't really matter second round guys never get signed in 2k so it's not a big deal and the only other thing i'm missing is the first round pick swaps but honestly when it comes to this video as a phoenix suns man i don't really care about my first round picks i'm trying to win a championship so i'm gonna get the worst end of the swaps on all of them that's totally fine by me either way man this is a really good return for the phoenix suns obviously bringing in bradley beal one of the best shooting guards in the league now the suns are still gonna have their flaws in the rotation we'll get into that here in a second but yeah man this is definitely a really big addition and if you're the washington wizards man i mean you really just tried to make the best out of a really tough situation you know bradley beal is on a super max contract that definitely lowers his value and also he has a no trade clause man so i'm imagining he pretty much told the wizards hey i want to go to the phoenix suns and if you don't trade me there well then you're going to be stuck with me and all of this contract money so the wizards didn't really have much of a choice man that's why they're not getting a whole lot back it's super tough man but at the end of the day the wizards put themselves into the situation i mean they should have been trading bradley bill a while back man they shouldn't have given him that max contract either so yeah it's unfortunate for them but hey, at least they're getting off the money that's going to make it a lot easier as they begin their rebuild process which obviously they're going to start to do now so that's good but honestly man i'm not done with this thing i'm actually going to make this a three-team trade now i haven't seen any reports about this just yet but i do think it's pretty fair to say that the washington wizards have no intention of keeping chris paul i mean why would they you know like i said i think it's time for them to hit the reset button they obviously could buy him out man but if they want to get something in return i think this three-team trade could actually work out man i'm gonna try to reunite chris paul with the los angeles clippers man obviously he spent a lot of time there six seasons to be exact so cp would get to rejoin a clippers team that's still competitive you know Kawhi leonard paul george they could also just very easily not sign russell westbrook in free agency you know i don't think that'd be a big problem if you're bringing in chris paul you probably don't need him because he's still got like trey man bones highland so in this situation it would be marcus Morris, senior robert covington and two second round picks going to the washington wizards who again don't need chris paul man they would rather just get two expiring contracts here and another two second round picks bringing their total to six for this trade which is not too bad i guess i think this trade works out for everybody man all things considered so let's go ahead and see if we can pull it off here and um it has been declined i don't know by who but i do have trade over i turned on because i figured the wizards would decline it either way let's go ahead and force this trade man and there we go done deal so so taking a look at team slash player options we're going to bring back campaign we don't really have a true point guard anymore with chris paul no longer in the mix so we definitely got to bring back pain that's for sure i'm also going to extend qualifying offers for jock Landell and darius Baisley. honestly man i'm just doing that because i can't afford to lose guys like we're going to be very top heavy so i got to bring everybody back just so that way we have some bodies on this team man that's honestly the only reason why i'm doing that i need to bring back a few guys in free agency josh Okoji is one of them he'll probably be our starting small forward man so 8.99 for two years that sounds pretty good to me and it looks like it sounds good to him i'm also going to try to bring back tj warren and again can't afford to let anybody go here so let's go ahead and try to do 5.8 two years will he say yes to this it looks like he will and i don't have a whole lot of money in free agency obviously but with my mid-level exception i'm gonna get alec burks one year 5.5 m's i'm gonna need some scoring off the bench and alec burks can definitely provide that so let's go ahead and make that happen give me jamichael green as well man 33 years old definitely gonna be in his ring chasing stage and i mean the phoenix suns are a pretty good spot for that if aiden's gonna be our starting center man which i'm not fully sure he's gonna be i'll get into that here in a second but as long as he is on the team man i do want a backup center who can actually space the floor knock down some threes it's a bit of a low end option but jamichael green can definitely do that man he shot 38 percent from deep last season so let's go ahead and try to do that all he wants is a veteran minimum that's perfect because that's pretty much all i got all right man so taking a look at player progression our big three actually stayed put no regression i'm definitely fine with that deandre aiden went up two to an 86 that's nice to see campaign went up one um we got a couple of the plus ones here we did have jamichael green go down one to a 76 but that's fine again we don't have a whole lot of options a whole lot of money so he's still going to be our backup center and then we also Tory Craig go down to Damian Lee go down to 
that's a little bit tough because i feel like we're gonna need some wings but it is what it is man let's head into season number one where i can actually give a real breakdown of this rotation let's get into it all right man so the one we're gonna have devin booker it's a bit of an interesting choice here but i mean he actually is a pretty good facilitator a pretty underrated one at his peak he was averaging seven assists per game obviously that went down once chris paul got onto the team but still man if i got to decide between him and bradley beal for who's going to be the main facilitator it's going to be devin booker we got d book under contract for the next four seasons and best believe he's going to be safe for this entire rebuild i'm not sure if he's going to be a phoenix lifer i mean we don't see that too often in today's nba but for the sake of this video man for the next like three seasons more or less he is going to be on this team then at the two we got bradley bill and um it's a it's a big trade man but it definitely is an interesting one the main thing here is the contract you know obviously it's a lot of money up to 57 m's by the time he's 33 years old in 2026 and i mean obviously bradley bill is a really good player i mean three seasons ago he was averaging 31 points per game all nba third team this past season he was still really good 23 points four rebounds five assists you know shot 37 percent from deep but with all that being said man i think bradley beal is a great name a great addition but i don't think he's a good fit with phoenix bro i really don't if you told me the phoenix Suns were going to lose chris paul man the main thing i would tell you they need is one facilitating and two defense you know those would be the two big holes that chris paul would leave behind and bradley beal doesn't help out with any of that man his big contribution is that he's a bucket getter but i mean we already had devin booker we already have kevin durant like we got that checked off man so honestly i wish phoenix would have done something similar to what the lakers did when they got rid of russell westbrook you know they brought in d'angelo russell malik beasley jared vanderbilt they got deeper which to me phoenix really needed to do instead they got bradley beal and they're going to be really top heavy as a result man they got josh akoji at the three who's six foot four obviously the guy can defend so that's nice but like bro this is a really small trio of players here because it's not like bradley beal can play small forward he's six foot four so that's another reason why i don't think this is a really good fit and outside of a koji man there's not a whole lot of defense here with this starting lineup like kevin durant obviously we know the offense 29 points seven rebounds five assists this season 40 percent shooting from deep and his defense definitely has gotten better over the years but still man i'm really concerned about this starting lineup defensively you still got deandre aiden who like is obviously a big body but he's not the most versatile defender you know he's just gonna protect the rim that's about it personally Personally, I still think Phoenix should trade him. You know, I did a Suns rebuild a couple weeks ago when they got eliminated in the playoffs, and I actually sent Aiden to the Pacers for Miles Turner and Buddy Heald. To me, Miles Turner would be a much better fit at the five here because obviously he provides that defense, a little bit more floor spacing as well. But the Suns just hired Frank Vogel, and actually a report came out recently saying that they want to try to bring DeAndre Aiden back to that All Star type of level. That's a bit of a stretch to me, man. Especially when you bring in Bradley Beal, another guy is going to take the ball away from him. But either way, man, what I did gain from that report is that it sounds like they don't want to trade DeAndre Aiden, even though I do think that'd be the best move so we're gonna keep him around for this season maybe i'll move him later on i'm not too sure but we do have him on the books for the next three seasons man it's gonna be a very expensive team as the years go on that's for sure taking a look at the bench man we got campaign and we definitely had to bring back because we're starting devin booker now who obviously isn't a true point guard but i think campaign is gonna be solid for us man he averaged five assists last season and actually the per 36 is pretty nice man eight assists we'll definitely take that he's definitely gonna have to step up man because someone's gonna have to move this ball around that's for sure i guess he's gonna be that guy for us then we got alec burks off the bench and i'm actually pretty happy about that that the per 36 is crazy bro 21 points while shooting 41 percent from deep like that's exactly what this bench needed guys who can get buckets man that's the big thing here and alec burks is definitely going to do that for us now he is 32 years old on an expiring deal so will he be back for his next season i'm not sure it just depends on how much he regresses but for right now we're going to lean on him a lot for some scoring punch then we got darius basil who came over last season from the okc thunder and didn't really have the biggest role but i still think there's some potential here man he's a young guy 23 years old 23rd overall pick in 2019 he's a really athletic forward who can protect the rim well and also he was knocking down some threes last season man 38 percent shooting from deep we will definitely take that he didn't have much role with the suns last season but now we desperately need some bodies so i think darius base is going to be nice for us off the bench we also got tj warren and we definitely need him to put the ball through the hoop man it can't just be alec burks on our second unit and i mean look at this bro like it doesn't seem like too long ago that tj warren was putting up buckets in the bubble man that was actually this season right here 16 points per game but he missed all of the year after that due to injury came back this season with the brooklyn nets and didn't do a whole lot but then he got moved to the suns as a part of that kevin durant trade at the time i thought that was gonna be a little sneaky addition man i thought it'd be nice with phoenix he didn't really hit the ground running man but this season we need a lot more out of him because again we need some scoring production on that second unit and i do think he can provide that for us and finally the last guy in our 10-man rotation is jermichael green i talked about him earlier i really wanted to get a center who could space the floor well i think jermichael green can be that for us he's 33 years old seven 
76 overall. I doubt I'll bring him back next season because he probably will regress. But for this season, man, I think he'll do just fine. And the rest of these guys is not a whole lot to talk about, man. Damian Lee, Torrey Craig, both of them went down two to a 73 this offseason, so they won't be a part of the rotation anymore. We also got Ish Wainwright, 29 years old, 73 overall, not a super high ceiling here in 2K. And then I guess the CPU signed Kemba Walker, who's just along for the ride trying to get that ring. I'm not mad at it. But anyways, man, that's a look at the rotation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three-year game plan, which obviously starts this season. For season number one, man, I just wanted to add some bench depth. Now, I didn't have a whole lot of options, a whole lot of money to work with, but I brought in Alec Burks. I brought in Jermichael Green. Honestly, man, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. I could make some more trades, maybe getting rid of like some second round picks, something like that. But I think I want to save those for next season because if I don't win a championship this year, I'm going to have to trade something next year in order to get better. So I think I'd rather save the picks for that. Speaking of next year, man, for season number two, I really want to decide on the Andre Aiden. I know the Suns want to make him an all-star type player again. If that happens, then best believe I'm going to keep him around. But if we get the same DeAndre Aiden, man, then I'm definitely going to move on from him in year number two. I'm just going to look for a center who's a better fit on this team and then also some rotational pieces. That way we can get a little bit deeper. And then for season number three, man, buy if needed. I'm really hoping it doesn't come to that because we've already mortgaged our future so much. But if we haven't won a championship by year number three, I mean, we've already come this far, man. Getting Kevin Durant, getting Bradley Beal. There's no chance I'm going to do all of this and not get a ring. So best believe it, we don't have that by year number three, man. I'm going to make whatever moves it takes in order to get that championship. But anyways, man, that's a look at the three-year game plan. Let's finally get into simming because I know you guys say I talk way too much. I apologize. It's part of the realistic rebuilds, man. I give a full breakdown. You guys can always fast forward it if you don't want to listen to any of this. But anyways, man, let's get into this season where it really is championship or bust. Let's sim this regular season and see how it plays out. All right, man, so we went 61 and 21, not too bad. Jason Tatum MVP, don't see that too often. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, Victor Wamayama, rookie of the year on the Charlotte Hornets. Um, I mean, yeah, I was going to say, bro, I put in the real lottery order. I do that off camera for all of my realistic rebuilds because, again, keeping it realistic. Um, but this definitely is not realistic. I guess the Spurs passed up on him, man. Now, I just skipped the entire draft because I didn't have any first round picks. So uh, this was out of my hands. But Spurs fans are heated right now, bro. Should I force them to go to the Spurs, man? I don't normally mess around with like who the CPU picks in the draft. But that's obviously pretty crazy, man. I didn't realize that happened. I apologize. Once we get into the offseason, I am going to trade Victor Amiyama to the Spurs for whoever they got with the first overall pick again just trying to keep it realistic man so um yeah that's uh that's pretty crazy i don't think i've ever seen victor amayama get passed up on for the top pick so uh wow that's that's insane anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this here anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this here as uh money williams is coach of the year uh who gonna tell him bro it hasn't been updated man i couldn't find frank vogel as an option when it came to hiring a head coach this offseason so i just kept money williams i mean it doesn't really matter a whole lot but um that's uh that's pretty funny uh anyways let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here do we have anybody for the uh the phoenix suns um it does not look like it wow not even kevin durant that's uh that's pretty insane but okay we are the top team in the western conference we'll definitely take that let's go ahead and check out the uh standings here so the atlanta hawks yeah figures they're always good bro 59 wins despite let me guess not making too many changes to their team here uh yeah it's the exact same that's uh that's insane bro what about the rest of this, man? Just how bad are the uh, the Washington Wizards? They are 23 and 59, pretty much what they want to be, you know? They should get a really good draft pick, so that's nice to see. And the Clippers are the number four seed, bro, led by Chris Paul, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. I really do think that's a good fit, man. Apparently, they got Spencer Dinwiddie as well, which is pretty wild. Who did the Spurs pick over Victor Wamayama, bro? I have to know. Brandon Miller. Yeah, nah, we're overriding that, bro. I'm sorry. I can't do it, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, stats here. See who led the way for us. And it was Kevin Durant, as you would expect. 21 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Devin Booker, a nice little 21, 4 and 6. Bradley Beal, 20 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. What about DeAndre Aiden, man? Did he look like an all-star? Uh, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 1 assist. One steal, one block, round up around here. I mean, these are pretty solid numbers, man. Did not shoot the ball well, as you would expect from deep. Like, these numbers aren't bad, bro, considering Bradley Beal is now on the team. I'm still not sold on him being our starting center of the future, man. But honestly, it just depends on how these playoffs go. You know, if we end up winning a championship, then I'm just going to bring everybody back. It looks like Alec Burks was nice for us off the bench. 11 points. We'll definitely take that. 41% uh, shooting from deep, bro. Yeah, he was a really good addition. What was our other addition? Jermichael Green, right? He didn't play a whole lot, only 11 minutes. Um, but did he shoot the ball well from deep not really yikes all right let's uh let's go to keep it moving then man we're here in the playoffs going up against the sacramento kings as the eighth seed that's not gonna be an easy out man but let's go ahead and take a look at the matchup here they got the aaron fox kevin herter jay sean tate now in the mix i guess 
Keegan Murray and DeMontis Sabonis. It's uh it's a pretty good team, bro. But I do think we're better as we won game one. Okay, we're up two to nothing now. Three to nothing. Can we sweep them, boys? Yes, we can. That's actually pretty surprising. Now we're going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves in the second round. They got Jalen the well now, I guess, starting instead of Mike Conley. I don't know if they got rid of him or not. I mean, he might have just regressed because he's only an 80 overall. So maybe that's what happened. But anyways, they also got Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, and now Mitchell Robinson. So is Rudy Gobert in New York? I'm not too sure, bro. But that's definitely interesting. I don't know what's going on in this sim. But let's get into this thing, man. We're going to take this game by game per usual as we lose game one. Okay, we bounce right back. We're up two to one now. Um, come on, bro. We're not going to do this, man. Surely not. Let's go ahead and uh, make this a nine-man rotation. I guess we're going to get rid of... Um, is it going to be Darius Baisley? What's he been doing per 36-wise? 14 points in the playoffs, six rebounds, shooting really well from deep. Um, bro, this is tough. I think I'm going to roll with Darius Baisley instead of Jermichael Green. Is that the wrong decision? I don't know. Honestly, they're kind of like interchangeable. I don't think it's going to matter too much. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and take away some minutes from our um, from our bench and try to get some more here for the guys. So we're going to bump this thing up to like 40 for our main guys here. Let's do it like that. Um, yep, that looks pretty good. And um, I think just like that, man, that's pretty much it. Honestly, we got that down to a nine man rotation. Maybe get like now nah, I was going to say one more minute for Josh Koji, but I think I'd rather give it the campaign because we do need that backup point guard role. Anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, beat the Minnesota Timberwolves, bro. We shouldn't be having to do this to beat the Timberwolves as we lose that game. Are you kidding me, man? We're just going to simcast it. I should be able to beat these guys two games in a row. As um, Okay, we're off to a good start there. It looks like we're going to win this game pretty easily. Yeah, okay, okay. So we're going to win this game, man, but we got to get one more of these things. Can we beat them in game seven? Let's go ahead and find out here as uh we i didn't mean to just sim it like that man i meant to go simcast but we're here in the conference finals wow that could have been really bad but anyways we're here going up against the okc thunder they got shea gildas alexander josh giddy lou dort jalen williams and chad holmgren nothing too crazy here pretty much what you would expect for this upcoming season um is they're gonna be really good this year i think man phoenix suns we win that first game okay we're up two to nothing now three to nothing are we really gonna clean sweep them wow we are okay we're here in the nba finals going up against the boston celtics who have malcolm brogdon jalen brown jason tatum al horford and robert williams the third i'm guessing they're just starting malcolm brogdon over marcus smart i don't think they traded him but um i don't really know at the end of the day let's go ahead and get into this thing man as we win game one okay uh it's one to one um down two one please don't go down three one bro there we go bounce right back can we make it three two yes we can can we win it all yes we can the phoenix suns have won a championship man led by kevin durant finals mvp 30 points eight rebounds six assists one steal one block shot 60 percent from deep come on now let's get it man we went all in bringing in bradley bill and it paid off man winning a championship but can we win a few more man we got two seasons left here let's go ahead and keep it rolling so we do have pick number 30 in the draft and again i'm not sure which years we're going to be swapping with the washington wizards but when it comes to this video man for like the first three seasons we're going to be the better team since they're tanking and we're competing so honestly the pick swaps don't even matter we're going to get the worst picks either way if that makes sense but anyways like i said we got pick number 30 let's go to draft night and see what we can do so i'm here at pick number 30 and i guess we're going to go with mikey williams obviously social media sensation I think the efficiency definitely has to go up in college and at the NBA level for him to really thrive. But we need some young guards, man. And obviously, Mikey Williams is a super athletic one. 20 years old, coming out of Memphis. I guess that hasn't been updated yet. Let's go to make that pick, man. Why not? Mikey Williams, welcome to the Suns. And by the way, I didn't forget about this, man. I'm sorry, Hornets fans. I cannot let this slide. We got to make this trade for Victor Amayaba, man. It is what it is. So uh, let's go ahead and force that override. Yeah, I figured I'd have to. There we go. Done deal. So the first guy I need to bring back in free agency is campaign. Obviously, we need the backup point guard minutes. 5.99 mil for two seasons. I think that sounds good. And it's cool with him. And I also need to bring back Darius Baisley, man. But he's expecting 15 M's. That's just not going to happen. I mean, even like 12 M's. I just can't do it, bro. So I do think for the sake of keeping it realistic, we're going to let him walk. And let's go with a cheaper option. Kata Bates Diop. You know, he can still space the floor, knock down some threes, shot 39% from deep last season. And all he's asking for is 5 M's, bro. We can definitely do that. So we're going to knock this thing down even a little bit more. Um, probably to like, I don't know, 3.75 sounds pretty good to me. 
Will he say yes to that? And he will. Cool. So we also weren't able to bring back Alec Burks. I guess he got a little bit of a pay raise from the Boston Celtics. Again, man, it is what it is. We're a very expensive team. So that kind of stuff is going to happen. So taking a look at pair progression, we got a few guys going down. Kevin Durant down one to a 95. That's fine. Bradley Beal down one to an 86. Honestly, man, I'll live with that. Like Jamaco Green down one to a 75. Maybe he can be my backup center still. I'm not too sure. But overall, man, this is not too bad. We even have some plus ones here. I mean, Devin Booker's up one to a 93. We'll definitely take that. I still feel pretty good about this team, man. Let's head into season number two and see what kind of moves I can make. And like I said, man, we don't have a lot of money here. We actually hit the hard cap trying to sign Malik Beasley to a veteran minimum. So uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty tough, man. I think all I'm looking for is someone who can replace Alec Burks, you know, a scoring punch off the bench at the two spot. I thought Malik Beasley could be that guy for me, man, but apparently we hit the hard cap. So let me look around and see what else I can do. And you know what, man, it's getting pretty rough out here, but the best guy I can find is Victor Oladipo, pretty much on a veteran minimum. He's here on the Houston Rockets. You don't really need him. They're still rebuilding. So I would think they just want some second round picks here. Let's go ahead and see if they'll say yes it is. Um, they're saying though they want Keita Bates Diop. I can't do that. Let me try to give you guys another pick instead. I only have one more second. Um, is this enough to get this deal done, man? No, it's not. And they still want Keita Bates Diop. I can't do that, bro. What if I give you, um, is there anybody else here more valuable than Doug McDermott? Not really like Javante Green is that going to be a difference maker and it is wow okay Victor Oladipo welcome to the team and I know it's not the most exciting thing man but honestly that's all that I can do I mean the Suns already brought in Kevin Durant and Bradley Beal man like those are the big moves this video is kind of just the little things that they can do in order to build a championship team so it is what it is we got Devin Booker Bradley Beal Josh Okoji Kevin Durant and DeAndre Aiden same starting lineup here man I think I am going to keep Aiden just because we want a championship so it'd be kind of weird to trade him right now also at the bench you got campaign we got TJ Warren Victor Oladipo who obviously isn't as much of a bucket getter as Alec Burks, you know? Again, man, I don't have a lot of money, a lot of options, so we just got to roll with it. Then we got Kade Bates, Diop, and Jermichael Green, who I guess is still going to be our backup center. It's a little bit rough at the end of the rotation, man, but I still think it's a really good team. Let's not waste any more time, man. Let's see if we can go back to back. I man, so we went 50 and 32, not nearly as good as last season, but it is what it is. Trey Young, MVP. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this here. Um, Victor Amayama, now on the Spurs, defensive player of the year. Shout out to him. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. We did not get coach of the year, did not get executive of the year. So there's definitely some other teams who are better than us. But uh, let's go ahead and keep this thing rolling here. Nothing for the all NBA teams once again, which is pretty surprising. I mean, we do have a lot of stars on this team, so it makes sense that we don't have like one guy putting up crazy stats. But anyways, man, taking a look at the bracket, we are the number four seed going up against the San Antonio Spurs who um, have Victor Hamayama. I'm kind of wishing that I would have kept him with the uh, with the Hornets, bro. But oh well. Taking a look at the stats here, Devin Booker led the way this time. 22 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. Kevin Durant still got his. 21 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. We had a third guy averaging 20 plus points per game. That's Bradley Beal. He also averaged 4 rebounds, 6 assists. Like, um, this is still a really good team, man. You know what I mean? Even DeAndre Aiden doing pretty solidly. Um, how did Victor Oladipo do? Yeah, not really the same scoring punch off the bench. But I guess campaign did pretty well. 11 points, 5 assists. Like, we'll take that. At the end of the day, man, this is as good of a roster as I can put together, all things considered, you know, with our salary cap restrictions. But anyways, man, let's get into this matchup here with the Spurs. They got DJ Wagner, Malachi Branham, Keldon Johnson, Victor Amayama, and Rudy Gobert now in the mix. That's uh, that's pretty interesting, man. This is a, uh, a relatively good team here. We might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm not sure as we lose game one. Yep. Uh, okay, we bounce right back one to one. We're down two to one. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Not like this. I should have kept you in Charlotte, Victor. I should have kept you in Charlotte, man. Uh, this is what I get for meddling with the rest of the league. But oh well, we're going to make this a nine-man rotation and uh, just try our best, man. Try our best to win this series. Let's go ahead and take away some minutes from campaign as well. Um, we're going to do it like a uh, little bit of this here, a little bit of that. Yep, that looks pretty good. Kevin Durant needs to be up to like 40 as well. DeAndre eight and two. And I think that's it, man. Is that enough to win three straight games against the Phoenix Suns? Or I'm sorry, the San Antonio Spurs? I don't know. As, uh, no, no, it's not. That's actually really tough, bro. We lost in five games, which is uh, pretty insane, man. I mean, I know it's Victor Amayama, but still, that's really disappointing as it's going to be the uh, Mavs and the Cavs in the NBA Finals. And it's the Mavericks winning it all, led by Luka Doncic's Finals MVP. Shout out to him. I'll tell you what, man. It's a really good thing that we won that championship in year number one. Because if we didn't, this uh, this would have been a really tough spot to be in. Luckily, we only have one more season here, man. We got the 25th pick in the draft, but it's going to the Brooklyn Nets as a part of that KD trade. And again, even if we did have a pick swap this year, which I don't know just yet, the Wizards have the number seven pick. So like, it's not like they would move with us. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But anyways, man, let's skip the draft and see what free agency is looking like. So I got to bring back Josh Okoji, man. I'm trying to make every dollar stretch. 
10.20 is this enough to get a two-year deal done and i think it is assuming we don't hit the hard cap i'm also going to try to bring back tj warren 4.5 on a one-year deal looks like he says yes to that and let's try to get k debate stay out back here as well 3.1 for one year will he say yes to that looks like he will it's the moment of truth man do we have enough money to sign these guys let's find out as um uh, let's see and it looks like we do okay cool that's great we still need a backup center though and um honestly there's not a whole lot of options like i guess there's cody zeller i really want somebody who can space the floor well but at this point man there's not a lot of options i think i'm gonna have to trade for that person because i don't really see someone here but like we might as well just sign cody zeller on a veteran minimum if anything just for a trade piece let's go ahead and do that taking a look at player progression man honestly not too bad we got one guy regressing that's bradley beal down one to an 85 everybody else is staying put and actually mikey williams up forward to a 75 that's pretty crazy man i don't think he'll get some minutes for us this season but by next season hopefully he'll be a nice backup guard for us anyways man let's head into season number three and see if we can bounce back from a pretty disappointing year two so i was trying to find a trade for a backup center man and i couldn't find anything again super limited financially and in terms of draft picks as well i'm gonna try to get you to wananabe now he doesn't have much size for a backup center it's actually only a secondary position but he can space the floor man and honestly i can't be too big at this point will he take a veteran minimum it looks like he will cool again man there's not a whole lot i can do with this team because we have so much money tied up to our big four i'm really just limited to like guys on veteran minimums at this point but oh well the starting lineup is still the same devin booker bradley bill josh Koji, kevin durant and deandre aiden off the bench you got campaign we got tj warren victor oladipo kata bates the up and now you don't want it's a pretty solid team man is it good enough to win a championship i'm not too sure but let's in this regular season and see how it plays out So we went 48 and 34 this season, man. I probably could have made some trades at the trade deadline to get a little bit better. But at this point, man, if I'm the Phoenix Suns, man, we got our championship. I'd rather keep our first round picks and look towards the future a little bit. So that's why I didn't want to buy in even more. But anyways, the Mellow Ball MVP, let's take a look at the rest of this here. And um, there's nothing that concerns us. All right. Taking a look at the all NBA teams. Do we have anything here? for the phoenix suns we do not i don't think we've had anything this entire video which is pretty crazy we are the number six seed let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here just for those who are interested leading the way for us was devin booker 21 points five rebounds six assists bradley Beal also had 21 points three rebounds five assists kevin durant only 18 this time around um which is a little bit surprising taking a look at the shooting i mean we still got shooters on this team bro i still think this is a really good squad but can we win a championship i'm not too sure we're going up against the golden state warriors in the first round they got a really old steph curry they got keontae george andrew wiggins jonathan kaminga and james wiseman no jordan Poole. i don't know where he's at but um let's go ahead and get into this thing as we won game one okay it's one to one now uh two to one us okay as i didn't mean to do simcast there but actually let me go ahead and just shorten this rotation because i do think we're going to need to do that so Let's go to make this a nine man just like that. We're going to go ahead and shorten these minutes a little bit. And hopefully that's enough uh, to make it out of this round, bro. So we're going to do it like this here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And um, yeah, man, I don't think there's a whole lot else I can do with this team. Honestly, I think we've uh, pretty much reached our uh, our max potential considering how limited we are financially. So uh, let's see if that's enough, bro. Let's see if that is enough to win this thing as we're going to do it like that. Can we make it out of this first round? It's two to two now. Okay. Uh, three to two them. Come on, bro. Please force game seven. And we do. Okay. One more game here, man. And we do not win. That's so brutal. I mean, at the end of the day, we did get our championship. And I don't want it to seem like I kind of took the easy route to get out of this thing and wrap it up quickly as we see the magic wing at all this time around. But like again, man, as we take a look at this team here, there's not a whole lot that I could have done considering all the salary cap restrictions. I didn't want to get more expensive and I also didn't want to mortgage our future anymore. I think the really good franchises know how to compete right now while also still building their future on the side. You know, don't give up all your young guys. Don't give up all of your first round picks. Make sure to hold on to some of that. So whenever your championship window does close, you still have a foundation for the future. That's kind of what i was going for here so that's why i didn't go too crazy with any trades in year number three but anyways man this is still a fun one we got our championship in phoenix so that's cool if you guys did enjoy this video again please leave a like and subscribe we're on the road to 2k so if you guys can help me out with that i'd really appreciate it this has been 2kj blessings